Hello everyone, it's Alina and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to give you guys a little tool of my wardrobe. My wardrobe is from Ikea and at Ikea they have this really cool concept where you can basically create your own wardrobe because you can decide you know, what elements you need in your wardrobe, which ones you don't need and I think that's really really useful because it also allows you to change up the structure of your wardrobe over the years as you grow, which is really useful. If you guys are interested in that system where you can build your own wardrobe, I'm going to link it in the info box below and now I'm going to show you guys what my wardrobe looks like from the outside and then I'm going to show you guys what's inside. My wardrobe has four doors and three of them are these white doors and then there's one which has a mirror so that I can see whatever I'm wearing and we're going to start the tour on this side of the wardrobe. So this is what the first part of my wardrobe looks like on the inside and up here I just have a lot of things that I like to hang up because I like to hang most of my clothes because it's easier for me to find them. As you may notice all my clothes that are hanging are hanging according to color. Um, because at some point in my life I was really bored and I decided why not order my wardrobe according to color and I've kept that system ever since because it's actually really useful if you're trying to find something that you want to wear um, so in here there's all my white clothes and my beige clothes and pink and then a bit of red and yeah this is one of my favorite items in here um, I actually got this dress from my mom and it looks really really cool when you're wearing it and I love that my mom and I have the same size I think my mom is less happy about that but um, I absolutely love it because I can wear a lot of her clothes when she doesn't like them anymore and my mom is such an elegant person like I love her style so um, that's why I'm really really happy whenever I can inherit something from my mom also those of you who read my blog may recognize this dress I've worn this when I graduated from high school in 2018 but I actually bought this when I was 14 and I wore it for party and then I wore it again when I was 18 and um, I still fit into it but I can't really breathe in it so that was a problem when I graduated from high school because I literally couldn't eat any of the really really nice food that my school organized because I already almost couldn't breathe in this so yeah but I still love this dress but like a lot of things in my wardrobe, it doesn't really fit me anymore. And the problem is that I've been away for two years because I was in boarding school. And a lot of your clothes just stay at home and you don't realize that, you know, you've actually grown out of them. And now I really need to, you know, go through my wardrobe and actually get rid of some of the things because they just don't fit me anymore or they're not my style anymore. But I don't really know what I'm going to do with the clothes yet. So if you guys know a great place um, where you can sell clothes or also where you can donate them, please let me know. When it comes to donating clothes, I do want to be sure that the clothes are actually donated and don't get resold later on because I do want things that I give as a donation to arrive at people in need as a donation and not as something that they have to pay for. So if you guys know a place where they do it like that, please let me know. I really appreciate it because I would be happy to donate a lot of the clothes that I have in here that don't fit me anymore. But a few of them I also would like to sell. So if you guys know a great website, let me know. Um, and yeah, let's continue the tour. So right under my hanging clothes, I have this drawer for my jewelry. And most of my jewelry is pretty inexpensive because I'm somebody who still changes her style. So I don't think there's a point in investing in very expensive jewelry. But you can see I have a lot of rings because I used to be obsessed with rings. And I used to wear like a ton of rings on each hand. I think I've changed since then, but that was definitely a thing back when I was in high school. But I still like to have them because I think rings can really add something great to an outfit. So I think they're really useful for accessorizing. Out of all my accessories, this bracelet is probably a thing that means the most to me because I started collecting charms when my parents got divorced and I've done it ever since so every charm on here represents a different memory or stage in my life and it's really really precious to me because it reminds me of all the things that I've already experienced in life so it's really cool for me to wear it because everything on here has meaning to me and that's why it's so so special to me and it's actually almost full but there is still one place which is open and I'm keeping this one for graduating from university and then my charm bracelet will be complete and under my jewelry drawer I have all my trousers and I thought this was really great for hanging up trousers because it's so much more convenient than folding them up because when you take them out here you literally just take this one trouser and you can see it in full whereas if you fold them all up you often can't see them all and the other problem is that when you take one out a lot of them tend to fall into your hands as well whereas here you really just take the one out which is super useful and under my trousers I have a little box where I just keep some stuff like old diaries and notebooks which I can't really say goodbye to yet but I don't really need them on the daily and now we're getting to the second door so in here I once again have a lot of clothes that are hanging 
and then I have another jewelry drawer and then two drawers and my shoes. And once again I try to hang things according to color so in here is my red, my green, my blue and a bit of brown. And this part of my wardrobe is actually a really really special dress because it's the first dress that I made myself and I think I was around 10 maybe because my mom makes clothes for herself every once in a while but just as a hobby um, but she's really really good at it and the things she makes look really really good I wish I had that talent don't get your expectations up guys um, it is not super super pretty but I remember back then I thought this dress was so amazing and I still have it because it just means a lot because it was the first thing that I fully made myself and I was really really proud of it and that's why I think I'd also never give it away it obviously doesn't fit me anymore but I just love looking at it because it's a really, really good memory because I do remember that it felt like a really huge achievement to, you know, have a dress that you fully made yourself. And this is what it looks like and you have to iron it to make this bow look pretty. But um, it was a pretty short dress. It was very formal. I don't really know why I made it because I didn't have an occasion to wear it to. Um, but, you know, little Elena wanted a really pretty dress. So um, this is what I made. And I'm really, really proud of it because, I mean, I was like 10 and I made this. Obviously with the help of my mom um, because she knows how to do these things. Um, but still, I did all the work on this dress. Um, so yeah, this is the first dress I ever made. And then down here is a bit more jewelry. So as you may be able to tell by now, I'm somebody who's obsessed with jewelry. Um, because I used to be really into accessorizing. And I think I still wear quite a few accessories every once in a while. I think these two are amazing necklaces. I especially love this one. I got this at H&M. And I think you can find such great things at H&M or Zara for accessorizing. So I really like going there for accessories. Also, I absolutely love this color. I got this at H&M. And I think it's absolutely amazing. It's a couple years old by now but I think it still looks really really great so yeah here's another jewelry drawer and then in here I keep all my shirts and I roll all my shirts because when you roll your clothes they actually don't get wrinkles and you can also see where your clothes are because when you fold them in a drawer you can't really see the things at the bottom but when you roll them you can see all of them and it actually saves quite a bit of space so I really like doing that and then down here is the drawer that I basically never open because it's my sports drawer and I'm just not into sports so these things have probably not been worn since my PE class in high school so yeah and then down here I have two drawers for my shoes and I love wearing sneakers because they're just super comfortable and they work with a lot of things so that's why my sneakers are in front and then at the back are my heels and I don't wear heels a lot because I only wear them for special occasions and that's why they're also relatively cheap because I just don't wear them a lot but if you guys are looking for inexpensive heels that are relatively comfortable I would highly recommend these from H&M because they are really really amazing and I think they look great you can really wear them with a lot so I absolutely love them and I'm really glad that I picked those up and then here in the bottom drawer I have shoes for summer so I have my ballerinas and my sandals and a few more sneakers here and also another pair of heels these are the most expensive heels that I own and I think they were absolutely worth the investment because they look amazing and they are super super comfortable and I bought them because you have a lot of formal events in Cambridge so having a pair of heels that is really comfortable comes in handy because you often have to wear heels for a few hours at these formal occasions so it's really good if you have a comfortable pair of heels and that is another door of the wardrobe complete and now we're gonna get to that part of the wardrobe where the mirror is in front and this is what it looks like on the inside so I keep most of my darker clothes in here, so all my grey and black things. And then down here I have another jewellery drawer, what a surprise, and my scarves. Most of the clothes in here are winter clothes because I tend to wear these darker clothes in winter. And I think the vast majority of clothes here are also clothes that I got from my mum. Because my mum wears a lot of darker colours in the office, so she has a lot of clothes in these colours. And whenever I can get my hands on anything that she wears to the office, I'm really, really grateful. Because she has such amazing taste in fashion, and I really hope I can have that taste in fashion one day because she is super, super elegant. And then down here, I have another jewelry drawer. So in here, I keep all my earrings. And I have way too many earrings. Like, I am not wearing most of them. So I really need to go over this collection and decide what I'm still wearing and what I'm not wearing anymore. And then I need to get rid of it because there's no point in keeping all of them here. But yeah, this is what the collection looks like at the moment. And then down here, I keep all my scarves. Please don't ask me about this questionable fashion choice that I made when I was about eight. Um, this is not my style anymore, but I still have it for some reason. But the other things are more my style. And a lot of the scarves here in the front that just, you know, look a bit more formal. They're from my mom and I just inherited them. Um, because, you know, I love my mom's scarves and when she stops wearing them, I love to wear them. So yeah. 
Those are my scarves. And then there's another box of stuff down here because I'm writing diaries and I keep them all. And I also have a lot of notebooks where I just have some, you know, scratch notes that I want to keep. So I have all of them in these boxes. And then here's a backpack that I bought when I was relatively young. And I think I've never worn this, like not a single day in my life. It is really, really pretty, but I just don't think it's my style. But I have a pencil case with the same print and I use it every day. But I keep all of my cables and technical things in here, so it's a great place for storage. But I just think it's really sad that I haven't worn it because it's actually a really, really cool backpack. But unfortunately, it's not really my style. And that is another door done. So now we're getting to the final door and in here I also keep some books. And then I have a few drawers. So on top I have my camera back and then there are some books behind it, which I don't need every day, so that's why they're up there. But by the way guys, this camera bag is really, really amazing because you can store your camera and a few lenses in there and it looks really, really fashionable in my opinion. It doesn't come with this strap, it comes with a grey strap, but I just changed it because I liked it better with the pink strap. But I think it's a really, really great camera bag because it just looks super fashionable. And normally camera bags tend to prioritize functionality over fashionability. But I think this bag really has both, so that's why I absolutely love it. And it also comes in some brighter colors, so they also have it in yellow and pink, which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to link it in the info box below if you guys are interested. And then down here, I have more books. So the books in the front here are all notebooks, all my agenda. So these are all books that I write into. And this book was a gift. And um, I'm trying to re-gift it at some point. Um, but I think it looks pretty funny for now. And these are two diaries. And they are really, really pretty on the inside. And I haven't used them yet because they just look so pretty that you know you don't really want to ruin the pretty layout with your ugly handwriting so that's why they're still here um, but I do need to start writing into them and then there's some more books in the back and the two books that I'm reading at the moment are here and some tissues and then here I have this little box which I think just looks really really pretty because it has these cute labels on it and I actually got this um, when I bought underwear, but honestly the box looks really cool. So I just keep some notes in here because it's quite pretty. And then right down here I have three jewelry boxes and in these big two um, I keep jewelry for my ring. So this is what the ring looks like and you can change the thing on top of the ring so it doesn't always have to be a pearl. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a little dot in the middle of the ring and that is where you can basically open up this part of the ring and you can change the thing on top of it. And so this is where I just keep all the things for this ring. And then here's another drawer with accessories. Big surprise. So here I have my sunglasses. And most of these sunglasses were super cheap. But I think they look pretty cool. And then here I have my hairbands. And I love wearing hairbands. But it's a pain because I have curly hair. And your curls tend to get stuck in every little thing that is on this hairband. So it really hurts when you take them out. But I think they look really, really gorgeous. So I do love to wear hairbands for special occasions. And then here I have two of my purses. So I used to use these, um, but I switched up my purse. So now they're just here lying around, but you know, I'd be happy to give them away. Um, so yeah, any tips appreciated. And then here's a drawer with my underwear. And then here's a drawer where I keep all my PJs. Once again, I'm rolling them all up because it's just easier to find them. And then there's the drawer with my underwear and socks. And down here are my bags. And I have a few other bags in storage under my bed in boxes. But even out of these here, there are a few bags that I'm not wearing anymore. And I would really like to give them away if, you know, somebody would wear them again. Because I think they're really pretty and I think it would be great if, you know, somebody could make use of them. So for example, this bag, um, I used to wear it a lot. But um, I haven't worn it in years, but it's so, so pretty in my opinion. And it works with a lot of different clothes. And the thing that's so amazing about this bag is that it has a lot of zippers. So you can really, you know, put everything you need in there and you can find it relatively easily. So that's why I love this bag back when I still wore it. But unfortunately, it's not my style anymore. So that's why I don't wear it. But it really looks amazing. Also, there's this little box here. And um, I bought this when I made a road trip with my mum. This was right before I moved to Hong Kong. And we just bought it because Hong Kong was on this. It's pretty ironic because I don't drink alcohol. And this is a champagne brand. So my mum got the bottle of champagne and I got the box. Um, but yeah, it was just pretty cool because we came across this like about a month before I went to Hong Kong. And that's why I still have it. And I just think it looks really pretty. 
and I think I'm gonna use it as room decoration at some point but just right now it's not really fitting my room but if I have space for it at some point I'm definitely gonna take it out of my wardrobe and use it in my room and yeah that is my wardrobe tour complete I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and as I said I would really appreciate it if you guys have any tips on where I could donate clothes or sell them and when it comes to donating clothes it's really important to me that the things I donate arrive at the recipient as a donation and that they don't have to pay for it so if you guys know a place like that please let me know in the comment section below or you can also contact me through the contact section of my blog which is linked in the info box below thank you guys so much for watching have a nice day bye